be fi fo fum I poop chicken men out my bum. What's up guys and welcome back to Totally Accurate Battle Simulator. Now I know I haven't played this game in a while guys, there have been a lot of updates, there's a lot of new exciting units, levels, worlds to fight in, all that kind of stuff, so I'm really looking forward to it. But one of the biggest things that they did was they fixed my biggest gripe with this game. You guys will remember that when I played the campaign, I realized that you can't get the Dr. Chicken Pooper unit in the sandbox. And it didn't make any sense because it's in the game, why can't I use it? Well. Since then, not only have they added Dr. Chicken Pooper as Chicken Man, but they've also added a Chicken Man Man, which costs 5000 and I'm kind of terrified to find out what that is. So today, I think I want to try out Chicken Man Man being the biggest unit in the game and challenge myself to take him down. So we're going to put one Chicken Man Man versus just a, a whole whack of peasants. How about that? Oh, that's cool. You see this? Estimated performance medium. Bad? No, I don't want bad. Okay, that's good. I'm not guessing anymore. So we can do a hundred pet. Really? A hundred is bad? Okay, we'll do 99 peasants versus one chicken man man. Oh my god, it's a giant Dr. Chicken Pooper. That is terrifying. This is like Attack on Titan. <laughs> he poops out little Dr. Chicken Poopers and then they poop out the chickens. <laughs> Why? Why would they think to do that? Oh my god, this is gonna be a massacre. First of all, my horde has no idea what they're doing, and they've just formed some kind of orgy ball. They're not even trying to fight the chicken poopers. And then this guy is just, he's, oh, he's so big. And <laughs> he's just giving birth to more chicken poopers. <laughs> oh my god, I can't even imagine what it would it take to take this guy down. We are gonna have to do some serious experimenting. And yeah, this was a total massacre. So, a hundred peasants, not even close. I kind of want to try out the other worlds as well. So that was the hills, which I noticed is different. We don't have as much space, which is good, because we don't need all that wide open space from the wander off into. But also, the Church of the Wobbly Horse is gone, which is a little bit disappointing. I don't know where I'm going to pray now. Let's try out the desert, and let's use uh, slightly better units. Let's try some spearmen. They can kind of get them in the knees a little bit. So how many of them can I get without... Uh, Screwing my, my performance here. That wasn't such bad performance, right? Medium? Okay, 96 Spearmen versus one... I'm still gonna call him Dr. Chicken Pooper, okay? I know it's Chicken Man, but I like Dr. Chicken Pooper more. Ooh. This is cool. Oh, the terrain is different. Look at that. There's like boulders and stuff for them to awkwardly trip over and die. Really? Really, guys? Okay, I know it's a heavy spear, but come <laughs> work it out. Come on, you guys could do it. I, I believe in you. Just spear him. <laughs> I don't even know. We oh, they did it. Okay, that was actually really easy. That's so strange because this is 4,000 money spent and this is 5,200 money spent. Huh. Okay, well, if we cut our spearmen down a little bit, let's see if that makes any difference. I thought it was gonna take me like all episode to take that guy down. That was actually relatively easy. I think what I saw is you don't actually need to kill his offspring, you just need to kill him. And he doesn't seem to actually do a very good job killing people. Like, he runs through them, but nothing really happens. It's his minions that do all the work. Okay, so yeah, they do a lot of work. Don't don't get me wrong, he's, he's a powerful giant. But at the same time, uh, he's not invincible. Let's try a new unit that we haven't seen before. What if we try the muskets? Oh, that's cool! They have, uh, like, thin rectangles to them. Okay, so how many muskets do you think this is gonna take? Eh, let's try 43, but I want them lined up properly. You need a good firing squad to get at them. No, we'll go with 40. That should be doable. Again, I don't even know if these guys are good, and we're gonna go to winter. Which is just a recoloring of desert by the looks of it. Oh no, it's, it's a little bit different. Ice or water? Okay, so let's see. Oh, get some! Right in the dick. These guys are cool. Oh, they did it! Man, the muskets are great when they have a giant target, I guess. All of the range units have always been a disappointment to me, so I'm kind of surprised. All right, I like it, so we can take down. You know what? I shouldn't be trying one chicken man man. I should be trying a couple of chicken men men. Chicken, chicken man men. Chicken men men. And let's try them against a couple of watches. I'm pretty sure that they're like rocket propelled arrows and they're gigantic. Okay, so we're gonna just fit a bunch of them in here and my performance is gonna be fine. So in reality, I can uh, I can just load up on these things, right? I'm not gonna give them any kind of formation. Yeah, you know, that that's tactical. And we'll do it in the Japan level. 
Hills Desert Winter Japan. These things are not related in the slightest. One is a season, one is a country. <laughs> Why do they come up with these names? So, oh, oh, these guys are not having a very good time orienting themselves. Holy crap, look at the arrows. That is so cool, except for the kind of shooting themselves as well. This guy's got no freaking idea what's going on. Um, are you, where are your eyes? Are you okay? I think he's having a hard time. Twerkmaster 2016. A red one! <laughs> I thought we were doing well there. I kind of want to see that again because they littered them with arrows. For some of them, they like to do backflips. I don't really get why, and they also miss. Like, guys, just just wait for them to get in range. You, you need, like, a general in front of you telling them to hold kind of thing. I mean, we took down one, two. Oh, they only fall. Oh, that's interesting. So you can pepper them, but uh, they won't die. And then I guess when these guys are out of arrows, they're just useless, right? Are you still back here twerking in the background? What are you doing with your life? Like, like, really? So let's try downgrading to the archers and using only two chicken man men. <laughs> because the muskets made quick work of them, but the archers have always been kind of shit. I mean, maybe in the update they've kind of fixed that, but they were always completely useless. So, chickens are coming. Ready? Aim. Oh my god, they're actually doing stuff. Oh, look at that! You guys are actually hitting them! You turn them into porcupines! Pin cushions! <laughs> There's just dead scientists everywhere! <laughs> Oh god, that, oh that's interesting, look at that. There's water in the middle of the map, so melee units have a hard time getting to the other army. That's a cool map design, I really like that. Except for this guy is not liking it, look at that. He's, he's just gonna start kicking down archers. Oh, he's gonna get through! No! Blue wins! They did it! Just barely! I kinda wanna try a whole ton of Chicken Man men, but I know it's just gonna kill the performance. Like, even if it says that they don't take up a whole bunch of performance, they're gonna poop out more Chicken Men, and then they're gonna poop out chickens, and then it's just gonna go downhill very quickly. So maybe we could just try six. Six seems reasonable. I wanna make a good army. Actually, I wanna make a bit of a strategic army. What if we try... What can we do here? Let's put some chariots up front. They're gonna distract them. The wobbly horse, they're gonna run around, stop them from crossing over. And we can put some of these guys next, because they're temporary. And then in the back, let's go with some muskets and some archers, just interdispersed. And then I still have a, a bit of room for the performance to just stabilize, hopefully. Bee fi fo fum I poop chicken men out my bum. The watches did literally nothing. They were completely useless. They just fire off all their arrows into the dirt. And then that just leaves all the rest of my units kind of uh, just, again, I'm really getting Attack on Titan vibes right now because there's just giant versions of them towering down and there's nothing they can do. Okay, we need to restructure the army. I like the idea of the distraction chariots. I think they worked well. Then we have a bunch of archers and a bunch of musketeers behind them. And hopefully they're just gonna be able to saw down these guys before they get there. I also moved to Japan because because the water should help slow them down if my wobbly horses can figure out how to get over rocks. Okay, guys, you ready? You can't you can't let them make up any distance. The distractions are in place. Fire! Aim for their giant testicles! Those horses are giving their lives right now, men. You better aim true. <laughs> this is not going well. We haven't even taken out one of them yet. Oh god, they're getting they're getting across the river and the frame rate is dropping. That's not a good sign. <laughs> I think, I think six chicken men men might be a little bit excessive. Yeah, my frame rate kind of agrees with that. Okay, let's try four. I think that should be more reasonable. Hopefully we can actually manage to take them down before they poop out too many chicken poopers and then they poop out too many chickens. It's just an exponential increase in my uh, frame rate drop. Come on, chair. No, chariots. The wobbly horses are doing their best to hold them at bay. Look at all these shots just rifling these guys. <laughs> They're such a cool unit. I absolutely love it. Oh, we got one. One's dead. The Titan falls. Go, go, go. Oh, the chickens. The chickens are coming. Did we get another one? We got two. Two down. Oh, my God. This is actually going to be close. This this is going to come right down to the wire. Come on, guys. Keep firing. Don't fire at the minions. Fire at their heads. You got to take down the leaders. Oh, this is just a disaster. This fell apart very quickly. <laughs> Once the chickens crossed the river, it was GG. <laughs> 
We'll try a similar configuration, but I've added three ballistas this time. And hopefully what that's gonna do is keep the ground clear of chickens and chicken men, because we don't want them getting across the river. So they're kind of on cleanup duty while everybody else is trying to deal with the Titans or not, or they'll just hit one of these guys square in the head with a giant arrow. Holy crap. That guy felt it. He went down like a sack of shit. He's dead. We got one. Oh, that's what we needed. We just needed bigger arrows. Oh my God, it's working. <laughs> Some of them get back up, but he's not He's not getting back up. Oh, oh yeah. Do you like that? Right in the groin. He's not dead though. This, this is gonna come right down to the wire again because the chickens are getting across the river. Come on, come on. Oh my God, this is so intense. I don't think they got it. I don't think they're gonna make it. They're, they're across, it's a massacre. <laughs> the ballistas did good. I think if I had a couple more ballistas, we might be able to get this, but right now they are just tangled in their feet. We'll try that one more time. This time we are gonna add six ballistas. So hopefully that manages to make a difference. They were doing a lot of work. They were hitting them in all the soft spots, the head, the dick, pretty much it. They can just keep that ground clear, boys, come on. And they're actually like hitting the Titans as well. I don't know, I keep calling them Titans. I know that they're Dr. Chicken Poopers or Chicken Men Men. They just, they do remind me of Titans a lot. Like having all these small versions of themselves try to take them down and they just, they don't seem to feel pain. And then they just, they fall. We did it! Man, those ballistas do a lot of work. All right. And finally, guys, we are gonna do something that I'm sure a lot of you have wanted to see the entire episode. We are gonna try four Chicken Men Men versus or chicken men men, okay? It's gonna be an even playing field. We're gonna do it on the hills and made the best chicken pooper, chicken pooper win. I'm honestly curious if the chickens can actually do damage to like the level two chicken poopers. <laughs> I can't tell if they're attacking or if they're just getting kicked like little feathery soccer balls. <laughs> this is madness. Everybody's just birthing more and more. Oh my God, they're not even really fighting. They're just kind of like riding each other. This is so kinky. I can't believe nobody has died yet. Like a lot of minions have passed on and by the looks of it, a lot of chickens because they're not doing a whole lot of moving anymore. But I don't know if the chickens can actually hurt them like pecking their shins and stuff like that. I guess we'll see in a moment. Oh, there goes one, one's down, two down. This is gonna be close. This is gonna come right down to the wire. Three. Oh, they're falling now. The damage is piling up. My frame rate is dying. There's too many chicken carcasses. Somebody call the Colonel. Oh, it's one on one by the looks of it. Did that guy die sitting down? Oh my God, that is amazing. <laughs> it's such a, like a perfectly positioned death. But yeah, let's let's watch these two guys finish them each other off. Oh, this guy's got a lot more minions. Blue team wins. The minions come through in the end. I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Totally Accurate Battle Simulator, guys. And as salty as I was for the developers cutting off people from playing the game, I understand that that's probably necessary. You can't just give it to literally every YouTuber, but I'm happy to be able to play it again. I got it back. If you wanna get it yourself, you can pre-order Cluster Truck on Steam and it comes with this alpha. And I really wanna play more of it on the channel. If you guys wanna see more, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, give me some kind of indication because not only is there a ton more sandbox dicking around to do, but they've added 10 more levels to the campaign. And I can only imagine how difficult it's gonna be to try to beat a chicken man, man, chicken, chicken pooper in the campaign. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. I need to make at least one sale or I'm gonna go back to the land of misfit mascots and they're not gonna like me there. The old Salami King is not gonna do well. So please, Salami King, Baloney King, I don't know. I, I run under many monikers. I have many kingdoms.